It doesn't matter if you're a pro photographer or just an amateur, but I bet you've heard about premium compact cameras, as Fujifilm called them on their website, the X100 series. The original X100 was a great camera of its time, but guess what, I haven't heard of them till late 2020. I was a Nikon DSLR shooter and even in earlier videos on this channel you can see me shooting on my Nikon D800 and Nikon D4S. And yeah, I did some street photography with D800. It's not that I didn't like the concept of mirrorless cameras, but you know, just shooting experience was kind of different. Shooting with electronic viewfinder, I guess that would stop me from changing systems and I guess some of you can relate. And everything is different with Fujifilm. The X100F and X100V are the two latest cameras of X100 series. And although X100F was discontinued recently, I think it's gonna be a relevant camera in years to come. I shot my first street photography video on this channel using this camera and it continues following me in my street photography journey. My photography journey started when I was just a kid and my grandfather introduced me to the photography world when I was only 7 years old. He owned the old uh, Rangefinder camera, FAT3. He taught me how to develop film, how to scan your prints. So we had the DIY darkroom where we could develop film and then we scanned our prints in the bathtub. So going back to Rangefinder style camera was like uh, coming back home for me. So if you're wondering about image quality, the first question you need to ask yourself, what is image quality? Is it about colors or is it about how sharp the image is or maybe it's about how blurry the background is or maybe it is about the low light performance. So there are tons of factors. So let me tell you something about X100F and its image quality. For me the Fujifilm Color Science is one of the best on the market and I just love it. Do you really believe that the image quality of X100F and X100V is dramatically different? No, it's not true. The lens is better. But what does it mean? It's sharper. For me, actually, sharp image is the less concern in street photography. So if you, like me, started your photography journey before digital cameras and maybe you want your digital photograph look like it was shot on film, X100F got your cover. It has 15 built-in film simulations. Not only this, but you also can fine-tune your imaging camera. You got Provia Standard, Velvia, Astia, Classic Chrome, Pro Negative, High Standard, Acros, Monochrome and Sepia. You can also tweak some options in the camera. You can change your grain effect and make it strong, weak or turn it off. You also can change the dynamic range of the camera. You can tweak your white balance, the highlight tone, shadow tone, color, sharpness of the image, noise reduction, long exposure, noise reduction. You also can choose the color space. And if you feel lost in all these settings, there is an app for you that will make your life easier. Fuji X Weekly. Here you can scroll through different film simulation recipes and find the one that pleases your eye and copy the settings into your camera and you're good to go. But what if you shoot raw and you want to change your image in post? So there are actually two ways of doing this. The first one you can use the Capture One. You can download this app from the Phase One official website and it's free to use. Here on the official Capture One website you can download the Capture One Express for Fujifilm and here you can see what you're gonna get for free. So we're gonna have auto adjustments, styles and Fujifilm film simulations. After you install the Capture One Express for Fujifilm you wanna go to Base Characteristics. Let's click here on Curve and now you can choose any of the film simulations that you like. So 
So there is another app called XRA Studio. You can download Fujifilm XRA Studio from their official website. But one thing that is special about this software, in order to use it, first you need to connect your camera to your computer, then turn on the camera, because this software uses the image processor in the camera instead of the CPU in the computer. And after this, the camera is going to connect to the software and you'll be able to change settings in the software. So here in this window, again, you have your film simulations and other settings that you can change. And then after you're done, you just click the convert button and it's gonna create a JPEG copy of your image right here. So let me tell you something about video capabilities of this camera. You might think, hey, you cannot shoot videos with this, but you actually can and I did it. And I actually shot a couple of videos for a film photography community called Film Never Die. This community, they organize uh, photo walks around the city. So it's just like a group of people gathering, wandering around, taking pictures with their film cameras, sharing their experience. So I didn't want to bring my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera because it's just too bulky, too heavy. So what I did, I, I took my X100F and a small gimbal. I also add the ND filter on the top of this little lens. It looked kind of funny, but it did its job and uh, it did it great. Let me quickly share with you some of the shots from these videos. The great thing about it is that you can actually add your film simulations to the video. The result turned out great. When you turn on your camera and you go and change your drive option to movie, then you can go to film simulation setup and apply any of the film simulation that you like. And it's gonna change, for example, I can shoot in Acros, so it's gonna shoot black and white, or I can switch to classic Chrome, which is my favorite film simulation. Camera is a tool. It's pretty popular to say like this nowadays, but it is true. It is a tool and if you learn how to use your tool, you're gonna be a great photographer with any camera. But none of these cameras will make you a great photographer. Not Fuji, not Nikon, not Canon, none of them. Yeah, you should learn the craft, you should go out there and shoot. So is it still relevant in 2022? Any of them is relevant. Don't ask me this question again. See you.